Hi, I'm Kosuwa, 11 years of Prime 5 from Yumin Primary School. We'll continue with Primary School Challenging Math. So for this time, it is still about those remainders. But for this time, these two, they also look quite difficult. But when you know how to solve, they are easy. So actually for this, the first question, it is actually different from what we have all done before. This time we have two numbers, A, B, C, and D, E, F. So for these, they are different numbers, different three-digit numbers. So is this difference between now six-digit numbers? is the A, B, C, D, E, F and D, E, F, A, B, C. And what comes out is divisible by 2019. We don't know what times 2019. We'll just use an N. Okay. So for this, we can actually break it down into A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, A, B, C. So for this part, this is 1,000 of them, A, B, C, then after that plus a D, E, F, like this. Actually then after, here also 1,000 of them. So then we also have an A, B, C. But for this, did you realize that we can combine these two come together, these two come together? So here is 999 A, B, C. Then you need to minus 999 DEF. So this is actually still the 2019. But 999. And it can be anything. But 999, this, you can only just have a 3 divided from this. Where is the other 333? Get it from the end. So now the N actually changes. So we'll call the other one M. So we'll divide the 999 from both sides. Both sides, I mean. Like this. So what we'll get is a 673M. M is actually still a constant. So actually for this, this is their difference. We want the largest possible. Which is larger? ABC is larger. So when ABC is the larger, and we want the largest sum. So we just put ABCS 999. Then this actually plus D 
D E F. Which is actually a 999 minus the 673, which will get a 326. Like this. So this is a 1325. This is what you'll get. 1325. So for this, your answer is a 1325, which is the 1325. Okay, for this, if in a test you can use calculator, better to use calculator for this. Because this is to avoid those calculation mistakes. So from here you can see, from one super long question, when you just think, how can we separate this? Then you can know how. But don't just always think, when you see this, separate to A, B, C, D, E, F, one by one. No. Some cases, yes. Other cases, no. Like this case, if you want to separate it to like that, how come? It is A, B, C, this whole thing, and D, E, F, a whole thing, right? Okay. So that means it is actually for different questions, different ways. So this is for the first question. Then the second question, which is also finding the remainder. Again, okay, here is a punctuation mistake. So for this, it is 7 to the power of 0 plus 7 to the power of 1 plus 7 square plus 7 cube all the way until 7 to the power of 2018. So for this, 7 to the power of 0 is 1. 7 to the power of 1 is 7. Wait, isn't this just an 8? So that means every two of them, it's already a multiple of 8. When it is every two of them, it is already. So we just need to find. Start from 0, end at 2018. When it ends at 2018. That actually means we have 2019 numbers. So 2019 numbers, that means we have one left over, and that is 7 to the power of 2018. But would you want to choose that? No, I won't choose that. But instead, I will choose 7 to the power of 0. Which is actually making this question easier. So this actually, when it is left with 7 to the power of 0, which is a 1. So it is actually left with 1. Should I change this question easier? Okay, let's see. What if I change this from 8 to a 5? But actually for this, we also have a second method, which is that you first calculate for this. The mod, which, okay, let me write this out. Later, I will come back to the new question. So for this, 7 to the power of 0, 1. Okay, well, we'll just use 7 to the power of 2 as an example, okay? What is a 49? So for this, this will actually be a 1. Okay. And this is 8. Mod 8. So this actually makes me think of, if this is an even, can we just write as 2k? Because then we don't know what is k. But this is just any even number. 
and this will be a Y. So what happens if it is an odd number? You try about that. Odd number are like 1, which will be left with a negative 1. So here is a negative 1. Each two of these, they will combine to become a 0. So when they come together to become a 0, so actually they are just 2 each. 2 in each pair that means. So 2, 0, 1, 9, you also have 1 left over. So this 1 left over, you just give it to the first. Which is a 1. Okay? So actually this answer is still a 1. So now let's try our new question. So for this new question, which we have divisible by 5. If you want divisible by 5, that means 7, 0, which is a 1, 30 plus 7. But this is an 8, still not yet. 7 squared, 49, still not yet. 7 cubed. 3, 4, 3. So this adds together to become 400. So 400, it is divisible by 5. So actually this is just our first method. This 400 div divisible by 5. So, so that means every 4 of these, we don't need to care. We have 2, 0, 1, 9 of them, so we we'll need to divide them by 4. So actually for this, which is a remainder of 3, when you're left with 3, would you leave it to the last 3 or would you leave it to the first 3? And it's actually very obvious that you will always leave it to the first 3. Which is 1, 7, 49. So 1 plus 7 plus 49, it will become 57, which will be a 1. No, not a 1, because that this is actually for those of 5. Okay, so which is actually a 2. So this answer is a 2. So for this second method, we also have different cases. Let's first see. What if it is an even power? Even power, but it might be one, it might be negative one. So just use a negative one to the power of k as the mod five. But what if it is not an even number, it is an odd number. Like this. But now we have two other different cases. Two and a negative two. But if you just write negative 2 to the power of k, that will become 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on, which is totally wrong, and we don't want that. So you can put it as negative 1 to the power of k, then you times a 2. And this is also for the mod 5. Okay, so for this part, 
Now we have this that we needed. That means it is actually for every four, they cancel out. So actually still 2019 numbers. 2019 numbers, you're left with three. Just take the first three, which you will get one. Then you plus a two. Then you minus a one, which at last will give you a two. So the answer is still a two. So this is actually what this second method looks like. Okay, so so far for this lesson, are you clear? Okay, so if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hope you like our videos and thank you for your watching.